course the wind picks up. I didn't get too many videos out this week because I am in Florida working on my sailboat. I'm painting the hulls and putting a blade of bottom paint on, just in case you're wondering. Um, it's pretty windy outside. You can hear things moving around on the mast. The video that you're going to watch today is me installing remodel recess lighting in a house that's, that's already finished. It's a real common project that I do. This one was pretty easy because it's on the second floor and I had attic access. Um, when they're on the main floor and there's a, a two-story house, um, it's not as easy. It's much more difficult fishing wires and avoiding drywall damage. Um, if you've got questions, put them in the comments. Um, give the video a like. Um, I'm trying to think of questions that you might have so that I can just get them over with now. Um, you see it, the first two lights I put in are regular can lights for new construction and I drop them in the hole from above. And I like to do that, one, because they're a little less expensive and two, they're, they're easier to install. They've got the arms that nail into the trusses. Um, the second two lights that I install are remodel cans. They're a little bit more finicky. There's just a, a thin rim on the recessed remodel can box. I think that's what you called it. They go up inside and that rim catches on the drywall, the finished side of the drywall. Then there's these springs that go up and you can see that in the video. Okay, so this is the vaulted ceiling for the master uh, bedroom. And my landmarks are a smoke detector and a ceiling fan. And the ceiling fan is uh, wired for the fan and light. So I have unused power. They do not have a light kit and they do not want a light kit. The fan box is going to be my source of electricity to power these four um, recess lights. So now I gotta dig through this insulation a little bit and hopefully I can find uh, what I need to. Not sure how well you guys can see here. And I will have to get in there. Um, so I'm going in. Through that in there to the left, um, down in there, it actually opens up and it isn't too bad, but uh, I put two can lights in there yesterday. I don't want to fall through. Now I can move this insulation as long as I put it back. And the reason I want to move it is so that I can see where the heck I'm stepping. So this right here, this is a, a landmark. This is a smoke detector. Now, right, 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 let's see. Uh, right there, that is the ceiling fan. That's where I'm going to be pulling the power from. And I've got the insulation rolled back down this one and this bay here.
straight and quarter. Yeah, they are actually all wired. That one goes to the whatchamacallit ceiling fan. Goes to here, goes to here. Um, I'm going to get these two cut in. Then start the process of getting the other two cut in down that way. You gotta go back down, pull it, come back up, cut it, wire it, and put all the insulation back and we'll do the rest from down below.
I'm almost done up here. You can see there's wires all over. Got my staples. I'm gonna get them uh, stapled to the sides, up along this, uh, this little walker board here. Um, they can go over the top. You see they're going over the top there. Um, they run over the top there. This is as long as they're close. So I'll nail this along the top there. Uh, just to keep things nice and tidy.
I'm uh, in my kind of disaster of a work trailer and uh, I'm putting away my tools I just noticed something just put my uh, this rod away let me turn the light off the dang thing glows in the dark it's like a, a lightsaber is that cool or what I've had this thing for I don't know how long years Longer than I can remember, and I had no idea the dang thing glows in the dark. I'm all packed up, cleaned up, Swiffered, vacuumed, and uh, they gave me a roll of cash. Um, I don't uh, store cash, so this is going to go right into my business account, and I will pay taxes on it. Um, back in the old days when I was, we'll just skip that part. But I used to carry cash and keep cash, but now um, I need electronic money. You can't uh, send cash to your financial manager to uh, invest for you. You know, I guess you could buy a used car with cash, but um, I need money that. Uh, I can pay tax on and then in turn use that to invest. If you're just starting out, having a little bit of cash on you, you know, in the mattress, um, might not be a bad way to go. Um, I would uh, suggest a safety deposit box um, at your bank if you have a bank. But um, yeah, going back tomorrow, uh, I mean, I'm so booked out. It, it's uh, I don't even know what to do really now, now it's just like I I don't even know what to tell people when they call uh, when are you available and I give them a, a, a range of the year I have commitments and deposits on jobs out till November 2018 and it is January 2018 crazy people so 